Anatomy of the Triceps The triceps muscle is a powerful extensor of the elbow joint. The triceps muscle had three heads, long head, lateral head, and a medial head. This diagram clearly shows the three heads. All three heads of the triceps insert into the olecranon. The superficial part of the muscle is formed by the long and the lateral heads. The deep part is formed by the medial head alone. The long head of the triceps arises from the scapula and stretch across the shoulder and the elbow joint. The origin is from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula and insert into the proximal end of the olecranon process of the ulna. The lateral head of the triceps arises from the back of the humerus or the posterior aspect of the humerus, superior to the spiral groove and stretches across the elbow joint. The medial head arises from the posterior aspect of the humerus, inferior to the spiral groove and it stretches across the elbow joint. All three heads are inserted into the olecranon process. The insertion area is approximately 12 mm distal to the tip of the olecranon. The arterial supply of the triceps muscle comes from branches of the deep brachial artery. Innervation of the triceps muscle comes from the radial nerve that arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. The radial nerve runs through the spiral groove between the lateral head and the medial head of the triceps, 13 cm above the trochlea, and it pierces the lateral intermuscular septum approximately 7.5 cm above the trochlea. It is important to know the relationship between the radial nerve and the triceps. There are three important anatomical spaces bordered by the triceps. The first space called the quadrangular space and the boundaries are the teres minor superiorly, the teres major inferiorly, the long head of the triceps medial, and the surgical neck of the humerus lateral. The quadrangular space contains the axillary nerve and the posterior circumflex humeral artery. Another is space called the triangular interval, and the boundaries are the teres major, the long head of the triceps, and the humeral shaft. It contains the deep branch of the brachial artery and the radial nerve. Another space called the triangular space. The boundaries are the teres major, the teres minor, and the long head of the triceps. It contains the circumflex scapular artery. All three heads are inserted into the olecranon process. Rupture of the distal triceps tendon can occur. It usually results from sports such as weight lifting and body building and is seen in middle-aged men. There are some risk factors such as local injection of steroids or the use of anabolic steroids or Cipro, or the patient may have a general systemic disease such as rheumatoid arthritis, hyperparathyroidism, diabetes, or renal disease. Diagnosis of triceps tendon rupture, the patient will be unable to extend the elbow or extension of the elbow will be weaker than the other side.
The rupture usually occurs at the insertion site. It can be partial or complete. The patient may hear a painful pop. The flake sign, which is avulsion of a small piece of bone from the elbow, sometimes is seen on a lateral x-ray. But the MRI is really the best study. How about treatment? Primary surgical repair of the tendon for acute complete tear or partial tear more than 50%. Reconstruction of the tendon by tendon graft in chronic neglected cases, especially if the patient has a major disability in elbow extension. But the result is not as good as in cases of acute repair. Excision of comminuted olecranon fracture fragments with the attachment of the triceps tendon in the elderly can be done with a reasonable result if the fragment size is less than 50%. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.